Hello students, welcome to academentor.com. Today we'll learn about Euclid's division lemma. Euclid was a Greek mathematician who lived around 300 BC. He made uh, many contributions to mathematics, especially in the field of geometry. And lemma is a statement which is used to prove a theorem. So we can consider it as a small theorem. So what Euclid's division lemma states is, I'm going to write it down. Given any two positive integers c and d, there exist two there exist unique integers q and r such that c can be expressed as d multiplied by q plus r, where r is greater than or equal to zero but less than d. So c is basically divisor multiplied by quotient plus a remainder r. What does it mean? Let's suppose there are two numbers. 4 and 25 we can express 25 as so 4 is the divisor in this case so we can express 25 as 4 multiplied by q plus r in order to find q and r we'll divide 25 by 4 and we'll get a quotient of 6 and remainder of 1 so 25 becomes 4 multiplied by 6 plus 1. Now notice 1 is greater than 0 but less than 4 which was our divisor. We can also express 4 in terms of 25. So it will become 25 multiplied by 0 plus 4. Again 4 is greater than 0 but less than divisor which was 25 in this case. So you must be wondering what is the use of this lemma. This lemma is used for something called Euclid's division algorithm which will which we'll be learning later on and which is one of the first algorithms that humans have used. So now we'll look at a problem related to Euclid's division lemma. I'm going to write it down. So the problem is show that every positive even integer is of the form 2q and every positive odd integer is of the form 2q plus 1 where q is any integer. So how do we prove that? We'll use uh, Euclid's division lemma. So let's suppose c is any positive integer and d is 2. We have assigned value of 2 to d because we have to express c in terms of 2q or 2q plus 1. So using Euclid's lemma we can express c as a multiple of d and q plus r since d is 2 we will say 2q plus r and Euclid, uh, using the same Euclid's division lemma we can say that this r has to be greater than or equal to 0 but less than d which is 2 in this case. So r can only be either 0 or 1. So now we have two cases for us. One where r is 0 and the other one when r is 1. So taking the first case if r is 0 then c becomes 2q plus r which is 0 so effectively it is only 2q now 2q is divisible by 2 it's a multiple of 2 so we can say that c is an even integer right and the second case would be if r is 1 then c becomes 2q plus 1. Now notice that if we divide, if we have to divide c by 2, we'll get 2q is perfectly divisible by 2 but it will, but 1 is not. So we'll have a remainder of 1 in this case and c is not divisible by 2. 
now taking the definition of odd numbers an odd number is an any number which is not divisible by 2 so we can say in this case c is an odd number so now we have proved the problem statement i'll see you in the next video goodbye